Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, and this is second tutorial on uh, plotting with Maple. Uh, in previous tutorial, we talked about different coordinates, and here we talk about a uh, few more advanced features. Uh, if you recall, we had this uh, polar plot here, and uh, we right click, we went to plot, and then we went to the plot builder, and then we used the polar and plot that. But if I want to just plot it in a normal uh, 3D, so all I do here and I plot and the shape would be something like this, as you can see here, as we have it. So I could have actually simply go and actually uh, plug in the function here, plot 3D, and the function is r multiplied by theta divided by 1 plus r squared, 1 plus R square and that was the function obviously uh, here I have to define what is the range of my X and Y in this case R and theta let's say R is changing from 0 to 10 and theta is changing uh, between 0 to 2 pi okay so the plot will be the same shape, of course the range is going to be different here. Now I can add here different coordinates, so I can make it the coordinates of the spherical. And the shape would be again something like this. Now uh, another feature I would like to uh, introduce is called grid. And grid actually gives you the number of the mesh in total that you deal with on X and Y or those two directions. So here I would say, let's say, make it very small, 10 and 10. So this graph won't be very, uh, one of the mistake here should be grid. So it would be not very pronounced versus if I want to make it 100 by 100, it takes longer time, but the graph would be much more pronounced here. Uh, maybe I give another example here. Uh, I have actually entered these four equations here and it takes some time. I didn't want to uh, waste this uh, video clip time. So I have C1, C2, C3, C4. These are the functions. And I want to plot all of these together. I would say plot 3D. And all I need to do is I have already defined this function C1, C2, uh, C3, and C4. So close that. And I have to, of course, define the range of x and y. And let's call it x from uh, minus 10 again to 10, and y the same thing minus 10 to 10. And let's see how this plot will look like so you have a parentheses close here so you see this is what we get here so you have four and these are like a kind of uh, spring shaped tube of course I can add color here color, color equal to sign and it will be more colorful now here I can add uh, the grid if I add the grid, for example, 10 and 50, this is my grid range. So we can see that for the 10, it's a different shape. So versus if I added here 20, so it would have been more pronounced the shape here, round. And there are other features too. I can uh, add, for example, here. I can show you. I have it here. So I can simply, uh, this is what I have here, so I can add here, uh, the style would be patch, so I can add maybe here, and I add it here, so my style is patch. And it will be changed. So if I add this one instead of 20, 30, you will see that 
it's going to be more like round shape. If I add this one instead of 50, 100, then these numbers are going to be increased and it's going to be uh, more pronounced. As you can see here. Uh, one more feature actually I would love to talk about is uh, plotting a gradient of a quantity. Could be uh, in diffusion, we have a concentration gradient, could be in electromagnetic field, could be magnetic gradients, could be uh, heat. Uh, let me just bring the function here. Uh, if you want to know what are the options here, there is this function uh, command is plots, and you get plenty of features here. And the one I would like to talk about is this. It's called uh, grab 3D. So let's do that. So grab plot uh, 3D. And my function, assuming is x to the z to the power 2 plus x square divided by y. So this is my function. Then I define x, y, z. x is equal to minus 10 to 10. y is equal to minus 10 to 10. And z is equal to minus 10 to 10. And if I plot that, what I get is actually a gradient of uh, my uh, variables and I can maybe a little bit of magnify it here you can see that so each one shows actually the the motion of this quantity is it like a, for example again we can talk about peak law second peak law which apply in diffusion the concentration gradients or the flux that could be also uh, a feature you can use. Now, if you really want to get more familiar with uh, plot, so I suggest you go to help, Maple Help, and let me just close it all here, show you uh, where you should be here. So you are in graph, you click on graph, and for example, you want to go 3D graph, and you go to option here, and this is overview. These are the features you can add. You can have caption, you can have color, you can have contour, coordinates. So here we talk about coordinates could be cylindrical, polar, we have uh, toroidal and other coordinates. And then you have the grid here, you have the label here, now you can actually change the light and many, many other features here you can get familiar. But sometimes Simply all you need to do is write the equation, right click, and it finds the best fit for your uh, plot. And this uh, would be the end of this tutorial. Uh, there will be other tutorials in Maple. Uh, again, there are lots of lots of features that we want to talk about using plot. But I think this will be sufficient enough. It gives you a kind of heads up to uh, go and explore the very vast uh, capability of Maple in plotting. Thank you very much.